<laughs> All right. 30 bucks will get you a lot these days if you know where to look. <laughs> Not really that, but kind of. Got a lot of work to do, though. The tiller assembly is missing, as you can see. And uh, I got a Scott Atwater one, and it's identical, but it's cracked. Somebody, a guy gave me a box of Scott Atwater parts, power head, and a bunch of stuff like this. And I kept it. It was uh, Lance from uh, uh, l and L Vintage. Motor parts in Calcullin, Michigan. But I got a guy here in Augre who does uh, aluminum welding, heliarc, whatever you want to call it. And uh, we're going to get him to repair that. And I'll have to take the motor all apart. And then I'll still have to find a tiller handle if anybody knows where I can find one. It's a 14 horse Scott Atwater. Uh, type motor it's actually a 62 so that it's uh mccullough now at that point but this is exactly the same and this is a true scott atwater only there was no mccullough in the picture yet because i have it the rest of it right here and this came off of here so I can run those numbers and find out. This looks like it was a five horse. And this bracket, like I said, is identical on a 14.1 horse. So if I can find me a five horse. Uh, wait a minute. I got a five horse fire stone. Let's go look at that. And it's all seized up. I don't think there's any hope for that one. If that tiller handle assembly would fit. Oh man, I think we're in luck. I'll do some measuring, but I think I think it's gonna fit. Oh man, I'm getting I'm getting all happy now. Also, I noticed uh, on the other one the uh, the reverse tilt block was kind of hanging there a little bit so i got some parts to play with i might have me a motor for 30 bucks i already got everything here what i did was i took this uh pop bottle here i've been using this for a long time it's in my videos over a year ago i cleaned it out real good and then i drilled a little 330 seconds hole on top and I bottle fed some. Uh, the whole time it was running was just one car or one bowl full of uh, gas. That's a Carter carburetor. I've had that all apart. When they originally painted this motor, they paint the carburetor and everything. Well, I stripped that all off. And the next thing I got a problem with the uh, fuel pump. Right where those X's all are, that's uh, the mounting bracket, and it's broke right there. Oh, uh, that guy uptown says he can weld it, but he's going to have to put a lot of heat to it. So I'm going to have to take all the, take that completely apart, get all the rubber parts out of it before I send it off to him. It was pumping water, if you noticed in the video. This is just crazy exciting for me but this is a uh, a McCullough Fleet Scott 14.1 horsepower is it somewhere there there it is it's a McCullough though Formerly Scott Atwater, it says there. So if you come across any of these uh, McCullough motors, and to me, 
the sound of this motor that was sweet this sounds like it's gonna be a bad apple <laughs> it's got the same shift mechanism as a Scott Atwater got the little tulip that keeps it keeps it in gear whichever gear you put it in oh I replaced the uh, the crankcase uh, return breather line that was all dry rotted. I still got to try to get it clamped off. I can see it was leaking a little bit. That's the only hose I had last night. I got some 1 8 uh, This yellow hose that I use is uh, Oregon Chainsaw. I get it at uh, Ace Hardware. I'm going to have to find a bulk supplier. Because I bought uh, 8 feet altogether today. Two different sizes. And it was uh, almost 20 some dollars. The uh, bigger one, this one here, was two forty-nine a foot, and then I bought some smaller because I'm I got a bunch of motors that need this uh, the crankcase. Um, excuse me, I'm not getting the terms not popping into my head, but it, it connects the two different cylinders 